I'm going to start the year with my final storefront review. And today it's going to be a little gem of a storefront. It's a startup called Front Commerce that I've been following for some time. I met up with the CEO, Laurent, and Pierre, the CTO, who have been very generous with their time to help me with this video. I'd also like to give a big mention to Christian at Front Commerce, who's been following me for some time on this channel and give me lots and lots and lots of support. So a big thank you, Christian. To help you understand more about Front Commerce, I'm going to use the same model, the same framework for evaluating storefronts that I used previously in all the other videos. The one with nine points that I did in a video earlier, and I'll leave the link in the corner, and I'll also include the other videos as well so you can see more about storefronts. The reviews I'm doing on storefronts are not meant as a roasting, like a proper YouTube roasting. No, they're actually meant as a balanced review. It's there to help you understand whether they should be in your shortlist. So here's a quick note on the method that I've used to review all the storefronts so far. If you've heard this method before and you've been through this before, you're more than welcome to skip ahead to the next chapter and I've put the chapter links in there for you so you don't have to watch everything. Yes, I used my nine considerations that I did in the video, but I also did a whole bunch of other things. For PWA and performance characteristics, I used the Google Lighthouse scores. This helps give me a little bit of objectivity, although ultimately a lot of these results are down to how the site is actually implemented. So what I tried to do to neutralize that was to take three example sites from each storefront and to do an analysis of both mobile and desktop. And not only that, I did those tests five times and took the highest results for each of those combinations. I then took those highest results, averaged them out to give me a good indication of how the storefront might be performing. Number one, the technology stack. Front Commerce is based on React for all of its front-end componentry. But what makes Front Commerce unique is its use of GraphQL inside of its BFF. And we'll hear more about that later. Number two, how open is the storefront tech platform? Well, Front Commerce is completely independent of any e-commerce vendor, which means you can use it with any e-commerce platform that you have. This is great if you have multiple sites running on different e-commerce platforms, or maybe you want to move from one e-commerce platform to another e-commerce platform in the future. Front Commerce is closed source, which means you can only get its source code from private repos once you've signed a contract with Front Commerce. However, despite it being closed source, the code is not obfuscated, which means you've got complete flexibility when it comes to customization or extending front commerce. Number three, how well does front commerce implement the PWA characteristics? As I said earlier, I tested multiple front commerce sites using Google Lighthouse for desktop and mobile. Front commerce scored extremely high for SEO with 99. It had a great score for best practices with 89. It was great for accessibility with a score of 90. Mobile performance could be improved with a score of 45. Desktop performance was really good at a score of 89. There is a caveat with these scores in the fact that ultimately the scores are really dependent on the implementations and the developers having time to actually tune the implementation to get the highest scores. Number four, rendering implementation. Front Commerce renders using SSR or server-side rendering. It doesn't require any effort by developers to set this up, but it does require some considerations during the component development. However, Front Commerce does provide helpers and features to help developers with this task. Number five, how flexible is the user experience? Well, Front Commerce provides an out of the box site or theme with all the components that you need for e-commerce. Although you could build a site from scratch, it's probably better to start from an existing site accelerator. This gives you the starting point in which you can build your site from, in which you can iterate from, as all of its components are completely customizable. Number six, how is the storefront deployed and hosted? Front Commerce provides an SLA of four nines. It's hosted on a Google Cloud environment and takes advantage of things like auto scaling. It also gets an SLA using Akamai as a CDN. Number seven, integration and API orchestration. 
Now, this is the area I really love about Front Commerce. Front Commerce has really embraced GraphQL. It provides a GraphQL layer to basically help you orchestrate all your API services and third-party API services. The GraphQL layer is incorporated into a customizable BFF, and that allows you to define your GraphQL schemas. It allows you to define your resolvers. You can even make use of GraphQL schemas from other services that are using GraphQL. To me, this is one of the defining features of Front Commerce, but there again, I'm a big fan of GraphQL. Number eight, support and documentation. Front Commerce provides a dedicated Slack channel for both technical and functional support. After the end of a project, the Front Commerce team will provide a technical review of the implementation, highlighting all of the best practices and optimizations for performance. The documentation for Front Commerce is pretty decent, and they do provide a five-day training course for React developers. Number nine, ecosystem. Although Front Commerce is a small startup, it does have a growing ecosystem with more than 15 agencies and integrations with 10 payment providers, three CMS, and three search engines. It also has a whole bunch of e-commerce connectors out of the box for platforms like BigCommerce, Magento, Oro Commerce, Proximus, and I heard they're currently working on a Salesforce Commerce Cloud, Commerce Tools, and Shopify connectors right now. Front Commerce is a small but up and coming startup with some really interesting approaches to storefront and front end as a service technology. It also has a respectable number of out of the box integrations with many of the popular e commerce vendors out there. Although it hasn't breached into the enterprise space, it does have a solid SLA and it actually has some very nicely designed SMB sites out there. I also got some inside information about a new up and coming version three of Front Commerce. Pierre told me that they're focusing on optimizing the performance of Front Commerce so that it will be the most performance storefront out there. Now that'll be something to see and maybe it warrants another review in the future because we all know better performance equals better conversion. That's it for Front Commerce and this was my final storefront review that I had scheduled so far. Please give me some feedback. Let me know if you really like these reviews. And if you didn't watch any of the other ones, please take a look at the links in the corner. I'll leave them there for you to watch later. If you're not already subscribed, please take the time and click on the subscribe button. And if you really like this video, please scroll down a little bit, click on that like button so this video can be shared with many others. But for now, it's time to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.